folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Rizza. Die, Dark Man, Die. I'm the Mysterious G. And I'm the Lethal Beeline. I did not bother to look up the members of KISS between videos, so I still know there's Demon Star Child, and I'm kind of can't figure out how did I manage to lose half of the members of KISS in my, my memory, but I have. They're not what matters right now, folks. What matters right now is, like, exploring this fanciful underwater uh, magical place of magic and wonder. And, uh... Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, All right. what's going on with this frozen moon princess. Uh, what's her deal? Of course, since I have the power of the internet at my fingertips, your other members are the demon, played by Gene Simmons, right. the space man or space ace, Fraley, and Catman, Chris. Catman? Catman. What it says in the Wikipedias. Yeah, space ace, I was like, as soon as you said space ace, I was like, of course, space ace, Catman. Oh, I knew there was one with like feline face makeup, but I did not think he was called Catman. Like that sounds- Maybe like it's Catman. Catman. <laughs> Cat, like Scatman Scruthers. <laughs> Exactly. This room is kind of creepy. What do you think it was originally used for? Oh, it was uh, originally the, like, you know, human slaughter and cannibalism room. Why do you ask? Uh, hmm. That painting on the wall is very luminescent. This looks like it. <laughs> this looks like another form of ancient writing. It's clearly extremely old, but it will take some time for me to translate. I don't understand this painting at all. Yeah, he's more of a textual guy. He's not really into the visual arts. Maybe it'll make more sense once you translate the text. Well, yeah, probably. Probably, but the writing is carved in the wall, so it's not like I can bring it back with me. If only we had some kind of alchemical way to take a photograph, maybe, you know, get it home and use, like, alchemical stuff to you know, silver fixatives and whatever. Or maybe someone could just make a sketch. <laughs> yeah. This feels like, looks to camera, alchemy. Oh, you mean like it's bullshit? <laughs> no, like it's an alchemy game, goddammit. Uh, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but maybe it's totally unrelated, but... Impel told us that alchemy was an academic discipline that bloomed during the Clint Kingdom era. True, but I still think there's a simulator here. Compared to what Impel taught me, it seems much more ambiguous, but... Maybe this is like the predecessor of alchemy. Pre-alchemy. Proto-alchemy, huh? Oh, proto-alchemy, of course, in the Japanese version known as blues alchemy. Mmm. There might be something here that would help me with my own alchemy. Searching for memories. Three. Searching for memories. Oh, we found them. There they are. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of sophisticated humor you've come to expect. From this mysterious JG Chan. Right, see, at least two on the on the energy geyserometer. Star Child says that a great amount of mana is concentrated in the divine tree for it. But it's always taught that it's forbidden to go there. Because I can be the celestial student, so yeah, you don't have yeah, to like, voice I, everybody. I didn't think when I took the Star Child, like I don't know, I didn't think Patricia would not speak again for the next twenty minutes. So yeah, I'll probably grab some voices here. Maybe, but I must go. I wish to put the master's teachings into practice, and I do not want anyone else to have to go through what I did. I will not let the enemy have their way. The master doesn't like children. All sorts of new fancy shit going on here with this, uh... Subterranean palm tree? Yeah. Palm bark. Uh, did we miss any on the... I don't think we missed any on the way up. Doesn't look like it. Alright. 
right, so let's uh, make our way back down. Oh, it's a good thing we had the rope. We certainly couldn't have jumped down from there. We had to swing out and then, like, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a pretty fair distance, even if it was adjacent. But, is it, but uh, okay, yeah, we got this little bit here where we could have fallen to our deaths. As opposed to just falling from, like, shin-breaking height, which is what we essentially did. Alright. We've got a nice, organized, uh, space to search here. Yeah, I said something about my heart warming, but, uh, can't you skip by too quickly, sorry. Maybe a weasel treasure. Yeah. Ooh, I hate to fight them without an advantage up front. Ooh. I know these adorable flower ponies. They're just full of cold air. Peony breath. Are you suffering from peony breath? If so. There's nothing you can do about it, yes. other than die, because you're most likely a foodie. If so, I'm sorry. I'd help you if I could, but I can. Good luck. Clock up. Clock up. Clock up. Clock up. Clock up. Clock up. She still has, like, flute musical uh, notes and shit, but uh, she's switched over to archery, which I think is that is more of what you did in the Animu. I feel like the Animu is based on the story of Rizza 1, but probably came out after Rizza 2 was released. Oh. I should make note of this. A crystal greatsword. Like, eventually I'm gonna get to points where, like, the fact that I never, ever, ever attempt to defend thing, where you press the button at the right time, is gonna be a problem. To be honest, I completely forgot about that mechanic. <laughs> it hasn't been <laughs> relevant. Because you have been doing it. <laughs> Not that we've really had. Done again. The last shot. That's a pretty pleasant feeling there, Tao. More targets. So that's we you know a week against the bombs. <laughs> Good, more ancient potatoes. I want to see something worth. Nope, it's just a shark garden of a bunch of shit that we already had access to. There we are. I should take some notes and organize my thoughts. Letter from the workshop. It's like there's something here. I see something there's... on that bottom. Oh yeah, I know, I, I, but I'm surprised there's nothing up here. Well, there was, but we ate it, apparently. Apparently we ate it. Okay. Although there's still a plot scene here. I smell treasure. I think Clifford is supposed to be a lot goofier than he comes across when he's got the uh, elderly revolver ocelot voice. Hmm. Should we take a look around, or should we just let him do it all? Good idea. Good idea. I will search the wall surfaces, because that's what Australians are best at, apparently. Are you sure? 
Seems like there's a lot of stuff around here. Don't you care about treasure? What about wall surface treasure? I own more things than I know to do with. I would rather not wear anything that I picked up off the ground in this filthy... But if it's on a wall, that would be just yeah. fine. You goddamn peasants. Oh, I, I see. You're really a lady through and through. I, I, keep, love you. I keep offering Tao uh, opportunities to find that out for himself, and he never takes them. What is it? Did you find something valuable? No, that. Just something that is pretty bad. That. Oh, really? I've seen it mentioned in ancient texts. It's a trip that you don't see a lot in official history books. Wait! You can read ancient texts? Not as well as tell. But I need to know at least a little about history if I want to be good at my job. So it's not all about money for you then. I guess I was wrong about you. Oh no, I, I, I know just enough history to make money. <laughs> what do you mean? Clifford Giswell, infamous treasure hunter, is quite well known within my father's company, family's company, whatever. When I heard that you were planning on accompanying the RZA into the ruins, frankly, I was worried that she might be in danger, which is why I decided to look after her. Come on. I take my job a little more seriously than that. Mm-hmm, I see. At the very least, you're not as bad as I assumed. Well, I wouldn't say I'm exactly a good guy either. I do torture people to death unless they hit the select button to get them into the torture. Anyway, you said you came so you could look after her, and I think that's what they have to do. Huh? You simply wanted to go on an adventure with her again. To relive the good old days. At least, that's what it looked like to me. I might even spend most of my time on my own. That's not true. I was just worried about her. I, I. You may not be bad. Do you like the tea? So, Clifford, did you find anything amazing, or are you just bullying my, bullying my friend? <laughs> I didn't even have to nudge lethal. He managed to stay awake for that entire <laughs> dialogue. Huh. Oh, well, there's a lot here. Nothing I'd call treasure. This is probably our best try. Even if you sold everything, you probably wouldn't make much. And this shows how people used to be. Oh, that's too bad. I didn't find anything either. <laughs> uh, uh, Patricia, did you find anything on the wall surfaces? Maybe we should go look around somewhere else. To black. <laughs> ah. Ah. Searching for memories, one. Ah. Searching for for predators, one. They say something about searching. I don't know who could possibly come across. Where could be this hot shark? <laughs> That's all I was applying. No, no, no. Oh, they're so close to leveling up, and they didn't do it. A singular scale from that entire thing. Well, it's a okay. really fucking big scale. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like a bathroom scale. <laughs> I've never thought of having one of these. Oh, the uh, kelp-looking guys, the glowing coral. Well, can I get back up? Oh. There we go. Stone. There's just yeah, like, this shark's like, hey, are you stealing my coral stones? 
I'm just looking at those benches. They're just like necklaces and jewelry, yeah. Yeah. jewelry just laid out. None of that shit matters. What we want is glowing coral. Yeah, all the gold and stuff. Worthless. Coral, though. Now that that is good money. And we got all that. I'm not sure how many of these glowing, you know, geysers we have left. Let's put the net over its head, head space there. The stout Drake. Yeah, it's a uh, kind of chunky for a Drake. I'm not trying to body shame this Drake, but uh, it's got some mass. It just has a higher alcohol, you know, right. alcohol by volume. <laughs> I, I prefer the Imperial stout Drake myself. I've never been a big South Drake guy. I mean, I like good beer, I suppose. But... So it frustrates me that I get its own the entire country now because of its uh, South Drake. Of course. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you can fly into Dublin Airport and it's like Ireland, brought to you by Guinness. Sparkly hand clap. Yep, there's that one. Another land shark menacing. I thought I saw a question mark, which would mean we don't have whatever it is. See the tragedy of not getting off a surprise attack is it takes us slightly longer to kill these guys because we can start a lower tactic. So that's why that oh, battle yeah. took so long. So long. Almost 20 seconds. <laughs> we get a singular fan from the beast. And, uh, we throw everything else off the edge of this platform. And there was, no, there was actually nothing here to the question mark, so that was just me. More than thick drakes on the way. I was trying to check the the, dra uh, the ladder to see if they were climbable in thick drakes. Aha! I did the defense thing. My God, he's improving. You think with all like that's the thing that cracks me up about that dude. He's like he's played through revengeance, like Metal Gear Rising revengeance. I'm all, how could you not play? How can you not have great skill in action games? Because that I game don't. is so intense. This isn't a fucking action game. I don't like when they like, like I don't want to like be playing double dribble on the NES and suddenly have to drive a car. You know, it's like this is an RPG. It's turn based. Stop giving me fucking timing stuff. Stop making me do things. No, no, no. Like if I'm playing Super Mario Brothers, I don't want to suddenly have to like you know uh, allocate. Uh, gold and uh, food to my troops to invade another section of China. These are different games that I play at different times. But you don't want to have RPG elements, Wink? In, in Mario? Mario yeah. doesn't <laughs> have an RPG. There's never been such a game. Shut up. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure I can figure it out somehow. Figure it out somehow. That's an odd fairy stone. I only played Revengeance so I could listen to Senator Armstrong's awesome speeches. I mean, that is part of it. They were pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Nano machines, son. All right, let's get back to this game. Crystal Workshop. Crystal Workshop. By the way, these crystals? Yeah, you can't pick any of them up or anything. <laughs> No, they, they're all display crystals. Can we help you, Stout Drake? Yep, so you, you need something from us? Are you the attendant at this workshop or something? <laughs> 9 of 15, so... Is that... There's probably a few on that right side there that has right, literally it's, it's, nothing. It's split into thirds, and uh, so we've gotten about two-thirds in these first two areas, so I'd say... Mm -hmm. You've passed the rope zone. Please re-enter the rope zone. Uh, this is the government sanctioned place from which you can uh, use your rope. Please, sir, turn. sir, sir, and or madam, it appears that you've used a rope in a non-official zone. I'm going to have to issue you a ticket. 
Like, this sir, is violent. Sir, there are guards searching for you, and you seem to think that standing around with civilians will help. You need to sit between two civilians on a specific bench, sir. That is, that is the rules we have agreed to on evading guard detection, sir. You may use a hay bale if they are available. <laughs> oh, you just fell to your death because there wasn't a hay bale beneath you when you fell 8,000 feet. Some things that really upset me, or at least made me anxious with the original Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. is like, I have missed those things, even though they were supposed to be like a sure thing. Right. So like, every time you're supposed to swan dive off into them, I'll miss me another one. <laughs> or fucking Altier misses. Oh, it's the lily pad. I was like, wow, this giant floating crystal is full of- oh, the lily pad has stuff. Of course, we can't get anything from the giant crystal. Well, I see three of them on there. I think I'm probably missing treasure chests all over the place because I'm just not poking into corners. We will probably survive. I think she can figure it out. Looks like preparations are complete. With the mana, <laughs> mana guiding stones, I thought I said gilding stones, guiding stones deep within the city. We can control the flow of vast amounts of mana, which is now a thing. That really is one of Tao's ancestors before his voice started to drift over the course of the two series. Uh-huh. True, but that still may not be enough. We will need to make one final move. Good one final move. Night to uh, <laughs> space to ch have checkmate. There, the oh. final move has been done. We don't have rope power for this situation. We don't have grapple hook power. That's what we're doing here. Easily circumvent a couple of battles there. Let's see. Evolving. He's a Bulbasaur. Yes. I need a bolt stone. I can become a Boltion. Oh wow, there's two of them right there. Bolt stones? Oh. Yep, two bolt stones. Become a Boltion, Link. <laughs> got one of those badass dragons over there. I thought one of them was Why'd you stare about me? Don't make me flap all over there. I'll fucking... Don't make You'll me get flap. yours, I swear to God. Don't make me flap over there. I might have more to duck on the way there. I'll hope you lie. I don't think this is enough to bear this out. Teleportation device blueprint. And budgetary. <laughs> that seems important. That's a big, you know, development. Here's the thing that teleports fools. <laughs> also, but only scrolls. fools. They cannot teleport people of intelligence. You know, it'd still be good for military operations. Zing. Alright. It's gonna say. <laughs> well, you can still send your pen fodder through it. Yeah. Teleport well, a good always... number of fourth guns. Although I'm saying that, I always think about the Megadeth line called Military Intelligence, two words combined that can't make sense. Alright, we uh, actually have Clifford taking damage here. It, is, it has been happening. He got down to about health, okay. half health over the course of like 10 battles. These stout drinks are really just too much for me to have. Have you seen how wide they are? It's like two lanes. Problem is if I need to Twelve shots should be enough to solve any of these dragons. You cannot net the sword and cog. Those are the rules. Sword and cog. It tells you what house you go into in Cog Hogwarts. Well, Yugi boys, the oh. secret of my elemental eye. <laughs> Cog Hogwarts, also known as Cogwarts. 
You know, you could easily make a, a steampunk knockoff <laughs> of Harry Potter. You could make a steampunk knockoff of anything. You could make a steampunk knockoff of a steampunk product. Thankfully, Rizza is a pro tag that can do a pull up. Really hoping to the far, far north there's yet one more of these. Cause I see one of them. There's one right to your left. Yeah, no, I know there's one. Well, there's one right to my right. There's one to the left. Uh, that's kind of. Ah, like uh, you're looking for the third I'm ultimate. For one. the third and ultimate, and I feel like we missed it somewhere. You're going to find it. Why does everything seem so vague? The airdrop recipe. I feel like we had an airdrop recipe before. Maybe we've got an improved one. Got blue herb. For when you're feeling blue. Mm -hmm. well, there's a treasure over here, although there does not appear to be a uh, fragment memory, whatever the fuck they are. Look at that chest, though. It's gotta be something good. It has its own, its very own guard shark. Nope. Now, my question is it's called a hive shark. Is it because it hides or because it has a hive? Discuss in the comments. Right. <laughs> Please. Just put something in the comments. Anything. Other than giving JG playing tips. Oh, <laughs> he yeah. loves this. Oh yeah, no, did, yeah, tell me tell me how you would have uh, won uh, Washington one turn earlier in Panther General. Please let me know. Mimicry robe. Of course. Uh, that's a thing that exists. Okay, if I check, you mean jump right off. You committed! Immediately. Okay. Couldn't have meant, for example, like, check and see what this thing is without sliding off of it and making us redo a bunch of, uh, walking around. With Risa's speed, it won't take that long. And it'll give you a chance with a better short short. Story. I mean, that's half the reason they're here. Other than in the other yeah, half, the half is swinging at him. So, yeah. The great voice actor. That's at least one percent of the reason there. Nothing. A giant crystal menaces from the gazebo. <laughs> Will you smash it? It's the gazebo of the. Uh, I was gonna say the gazebo of hard rock. <laughs> yeah, we got the K Rock 100 crews out here tonight at the gazebo. If you want to come out and visit, folks, we'll be giving away t shirts. I need to click more. I can't figure out anything with just this. Well, I need to have all 15 things. Well, we've got half of uh, what we need for this place in total, but we seem to be missing one on this screen. Now, is it possible that if we return to the middle, uh, something there new? could. I was going to say, the only places I could see it is being on the left or possibly in the center. I think we've got this one cleared out. I think you're right. Well, let's see a little story before we call it a video. That's a little story. As a treat. <laughs> is this some kind of oh, log, right? Looks like everything's checked out. <laughs> is Including it... me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Is the, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty checked out, too. This, this seems like an odd time to ask that question. <laughs> is this some kind of uh, crystal laboratory? Oh, boy, we've seen, like... Is this some kind of underwater place? Like, we've been here for a while now. <laughs> Maybe. It looks like the, both of the shelves are empty. That was got something conspicuously displayed, though. Right there. That looks like some kind of porno bag we could use to distract guards. <laughs> This, <clears throat> this is incredible. I was also going to say it could distract Hal. Well, he's he's a guard. Have you ever noticed the exclamation point that appears over his head when he notices the Rizza? Uh-huh. Mr. Tao, calm down. There's nothing there. Please look at me instead. <laughs> oh, I didn't do a... I didn't have an indiscretion in my younger years where I was tricked into some candid photography. <laughs> What are you talking about? This is an absolute treasure trove of vintage pornography. 
No, he just wants the bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> just look. Is that some kind of scroll? Yeah, it's a ninja scroll. It features a woman oh. with a poisonous vagina and some blind samurai dude. It's awesome. It's been a while since I've seen that one. It is that stupid. <laughs> that's, that's the one that they show you, like, in your freshman year of college to get you hooked on anime, and you eventually realize, that was dumb. <laughs> All animes are dumb in their own special way. Oh, I have a great fondness in my heart for Ninja Scroll, but it did feature a character with a poisonous vagina. It sure is. <laughs> it's basically an extremely early version of a book. Do, 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 do. So, what does it say? Let's take a look. It's in a book. Huh? I... I don't think I can read it just yet. Oh, God damn it, Tao. What can you do? Then... Is that from the Clint Kingdom? Yes, it's certainly older than that. This scroll is positively ancient. How much older do you think it is? God damn, she's surprised by the concept of this thing being old. So old that any information about that era can only be found in some ancient legends. And even those legends now mostly only remain in the form of children's songs. I think what they're implying here is this scroll was old whenever the people of this place obtained it. Could be. Could be. Children's songs. That's not something you'd consider to be historically accurate. Maybe. But that song from Kirkland Island ended up being pretty close to the truth, didn't it? It could be historically accurate if it's like, you know, we didn't start the fire. We can learn all sorts of stuff about history. Or ashes, <laughs> ashes, we all fall down. Right. They're basically the same song. I still don't know anything about them, but there's no denying that some ancient civilization once lived here. Did ancient astronauts build this bookshelf? Read the book. I can't even imagine how long it will take to uncover the truth, but I will decipher this scroll. Or my name isn't Tau W. Morgenstern, or whatever my name was. Well, how did you forget your own name? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what's your last name at the Rizza? Give you a hint, it's a type of beer. <laughs> It is stamped much like those dragons, you piece of shit. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Points for Lethal. Can he earn more points in the next video? We'll find out in the next video. Where else would we find out? I already have won all the points. There are no more points. Good day and goodbye. <laughs>